Good morning. It is a rainy, cold Monday morning. Lucy and I are off to meet my friend for coffee this morning, which I'm looking forward to. She's uh, super busy, so we don't often get time to catch up. So it's been a while, so I'm very excited to have a little catch up. And I left Lucy's breakfast at home, so I'm gonna have to get her breakfast out while we're there. So we're gonna head off there now, because I am going to be running late. Hello, hello, it is the afternoon now, and it is the <laughs> rainiest day. I can make it. And it is so cold out, so uh, uh. as it is the fall season, uh, uh. you showing them your calculator? Uh, yeah, uh. look at that. We are going to have a little Harry Potter afternoon. Just lit a couple of candles, it's chilly. So we're gonna get some blankets and get all cozy on the couch. And I'm gonna make us some popcorn and some hot chocolate. Hot chocolate popcorn! <laughs> hot chocolate and popcorn. And we are gonna start the first Harry Potter course. Ow! Just got the popcorn started. We put the lid on and let it heat up and pop. And then here, I'm gonna add some milk and chocolate chips for the hot cocoa. I just wanted to show this real quick. This is what we do after we've had the chicken, like the whole chicken that we cook. Um, I add a bay leaf, a bunch of water on top, and whenever I'm cooking, I save any scraps like carrot peels, onion peels, celery, anything like that. Not everything, but stuff like that, like onions, carrots, celery, and I just put it in the fridge and I save the peelings, and then I just toss them in the pot and I chopped up another like half an onion just to give it more flavor. So I'm going to put the lid on this. And I filled it all the way up with water and then I'm going to put it on low and I'm literally just going to let this sit. It's 3.20 and I'm going to let this sit overnight until tomorrow morning at least, if not longer. Just to let the rich flavor of the chicken soak in and make this delicious bone broth like I'll show you. This is one that we did last week and you can see how like thick and gelatinous it is and it forms that like fatty bit on the top. That is good quality bone broth. Cause it's like all the nutrients from those bones have been like taken out. Hot cocoa is all done. Chocolate is melted. I'm gonna divide this into two. He's right there. Okay. Hot cocoa. It's a and here is the popcorn. Here you go, Lucy. Okay. So Lucy wasn't very into Harry Potter, which I kind of thought maybe she wouldn't be. She's not quite at the age range where she would be really into it. So we put on a different movie. We put on that little um, animated movie, Sing which is really cute, like the singing animals. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna chill on the couch and have our popcorn and hot cocoa. All snuggled up under our blankie. Yeah. Thanks, baby. So I was gonna make some dessert and then I realized I don't have half the ingredients that I need. But I was gonna make, so 
we're just gonna start cooking dinner because it's almost five anyway and i'm gonna make some soup because it's freezing oh hang on baby so we're just gonna start by cutting up the onion i'm gonna give you part of this to cut okay One sharp, so I'm gonna do this. Take away the one and you with the onion. Yeah. Now cut up your carrot. Mm. Oh, my eyes are burning from that onion. Onions are strong. Here you go, too. bits off. It's kind of bit sticky. It's a bit wet? It's a bit sticky. Yeah. in the pan. I'm going to add some garlic. I just have pre-minced garlic in the fridge because it's easiest. This is what we have. It's just the pre-minced garlic. Though I will say it's just not as good as like fresh garlic obviously but it's much more convenient. Would you like to put some in? Let me get it just quick. I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay. Okay. So here's the soup. You got the cabbage. I added some noodles and I just added some frozen peas and carrots. And this is just about done. The noodles just cooked. They don't take very long because they're little, little ones. 